guys, welcome back to the Black Emerald Group. My name is Sia, call sign Echo04. Today I'm going to be talking to you about war belts. Now, I was running a Emerson tactical war belt before. It was one of these Chinese clones. It was very bulky, chunky on the back, it had a lot of padding, and I never could get it to be tight. Every single time I was running around, it always used to fall or sag at the bottom of my pants, so I hated it. So I did a lot of research, looking around, and Carl from Tactical Rifleman recommended this belt, which is the ATS Tactical War Belt. And it's a cool product. It's one of my personal favorites on my kit. So it's a slimline belt. It's a two-piece belt. It's, first of all, it's real multicam material made in America. So none of this Chinese cheap knockoff stuff. It's got these harnesses here, so if you want to run a yoke system and a proper harness around your shoulders, you can. It's similar to the Cry Simline belts, but it's different. So as you can see, you got the inner belt here, which is a Velcro belt. And you have the outer belt, which has got a little bit of padding, not too much, just enough to make it comfortable to wear on the inside. So the inner belt can be any different color, there are lots of selections. I picked green because I wanted to keep it within the theme of our team, which is kind of green. But surprising I'm the only one who's running multicam vest, <laughs> but I have to be awkward. So this is my setup, it's going to be unique to me, it's, everyone else's setup is different, but this is how it works with me. So I'm a right hand drawer, on the right hand side I have my Blackhawk duty loop with my Kydex holster on it. This is for my Salient Arms Glock with the uh, light. I'm running in from the inside, so when I draw it, it doesn't pull this bit up. I could loop it over the top, but I just decided I want it this way, so this hangs over it. It looks nicer as well. Everyone else could be different. You could have lots more other pouches on there. You could have a tourniquet. I just, I don't believe in having tourniquets because this is airsoft. We're not going to get shot, and I don't want to waste my money. But everyone's different. If you're using a tactical situation, it could work for you. You can have lots of other stuff on it. I like to keep my belt as minimal as possible. So, coming to the back, I have this company's MDOM. I believe it's MDOM, yeah. MDOM USA. I've never heard of them before, but whatever. It's a dumb pouch, foldable dumb pouch with a zip. Does the job. I just wanted something that's got a good enough zip that holds all my gas mags because gas mags you know are heavy and I'm running a gas blowback I'm running at least six or seven of them they are gonna weigh you down after a while hence why I got this one here it's got two zips which are pretty cool and it's foldable if you want to fold it like that then on the side here moving across Warrior Systems, which are a UK company a smoke grenade pouch, flash mega grain, so anything like that works Simple, it's got a little retention, does a job for me. Then coming to my pistol pouch, the two 9mm pouches. Now I have them set up in a unique configuration to me. So if I show you with a grenade with a sorry with a mag, what I'm doing here, I've got two mags in here. There's a second one in there. So I've got this was a fast draw mag, so when I'm gonna reload, I could pull this out quickly. I don't have to be faffing with this and all that, making noise. Pull this out quickly. But the second one. I've got it always looped over to keep it inside the mag. Sorry, to keep it inside the pouch. The reason for that is if I'm running around and I fall over or trip or stumble, probably, most probable chance I'm going to drop this somewhere. And these are like, you know, 30, 40 quid, 60 dollars. They're not, they're not cheap, they're expensive. So at least if I lose one, I still got another one to play with. Hence why I've got it this way. Now, this is this is how I like it. I mean, everyone else could have a different way. People could have fast mags, whatever you want. But this is just it works for me and it does the job. Moving over, I've got an Espina. It's basically there just to hold my gloves or anything like that, my helmet or whatever. Just it's just for really to loop stuff on. That's it. And the belt. The only complaint I have really with this, I I just feel the buckles are a little bit flimsy. I could be wrong, um, they could be last a long time. I haven't really taken this out yet into the field, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. I mean, I've just got this. It's only been like two, three weeks. 
we're going to be taking it out in Ground Zero National Airsoft event in the UK. So then I can tell you how this thing runs. But as is, this is just how it, this is what I feel. This is my first impressions. But overall, it's a fantastic belt. It really fits nicely. I definitely recommend you checking them out. They're called ATS Tactical. They're cool, they're family run business. Give them a like, go have a look on their website. I'm gonna put the links to where you can purchase all this stuff in the description below. Also, give you a heads up, we have two YouTube channels, not one. One of them is mine, which is Black Emerald Group, and it's got E04 on it, which is mine. That's all my videos of all my games over the years. And then we have the Black Emerald Official, which is our group videos, which you're going to see probably similar stuff on it, but it's going to be maybe some games are going to be unique to that video, to that, to that group, when it's all we're playing as a whole team. But definitely check both pages out. Give them a like on both of them. We do appreciate it. We are trying to set ourselves up, so we're still in the early days. We also got a Instagram page, which is Black Emerald Official. Give it a like. We've got plenty of cool content on there. We're always updating it. Check out our Facebook, Black Emerald Official again. Got lots of stuff on there. But I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, leave them in the in the box below in the description. Sorry, in the comment section. And we do appreciate feedback. But overall, you guys have a lovely day and stay safe. Enemies in close proximity to civilian dwellings at this time.